Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this super quick video overview, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the LSP Newborn Digital Background Photoshop Action Set using the LSP Love Bowl Limited Edition. This bowl comes with the uh, the actions if you purchase on the LSP website. That's www.lsp-actions.com. For the complete step-by-step -step tutorial, please watch video one. This video, uh, video one, is 24 minutes long and I go through everything at a really nice slow pace covering everything from blending, layer masks, adjustment layers, loading actions in, editing baby and everything that you need to know when using digital backgrounds. For this video I'm going to move super fast, um, assuming you already know what you're doing, you're already savvy with digital backgrounds and actions, and this is more of a demo of what can be achieved. So on the LSP Limited Edition Love Bolt Digital Background, this is a PSD multi-layer file. It comes pre-loaded with different options. So here in your layers panel, you have the base uh, the base layer, which is this uh, kind of brown gray fluff um, to place baby on. You have a dark fur option, a light fluff option, and a light fur option, depending on um, how you've shot baby. So you can mix and match these uh, to decide which one will suit your image better. So click up here on the Place Your Baby Here layer. If you're using a flat digital, anyone else's digital, um, that's absolutely fine. You don't need to click anywhere. It'll just be a flat background layer. But for this one, I'm going to click Place Your Baby Here. Come to the Action panel and click Step 1, Add the Baby. Hit Continue, locate the baby image on your computer and hit Place. This image is by Anna Brandt. And at this point, you will notice uh, the image will just appear here, um, sat over the top of the digital with the transform box around it. You need to notice the direction of the shadows in the digital image you're using and make sure they match up. So this image is actually correct. The light is coming from this direction. The shadows are on the right. If, for example, your image is the wrong way around with your light coming in um, from the right, you're going to have to right click flip horizontal. Hit enter or hit the tick at the top and it will go on to the next stage of the action. This is all the actions playing out. I'm not doing this. At this point, you will notice baby has become transparent, allowing you to, um, to resize, rotate and add um, where you want baby to appear in the digital background. When you're happy with that, hit enter or the little tick at the top and the action will finish playing out. Grab a small white brush, pop the hardness up a little bit, and paint baby in. You can start with a loose, um, a kind of a loose selection, and then you can zoom in further to refine if needed. If you shot baby on a similar background or fur um, that is similar to the digital you're using, you will find this really easy because you don't have to cut baby out too badly. If baby is on a completely different background, you're going to have to get in a bit closer and um, refine the selection further. But all of that is covered in main uh, video one. Like this, and some of the original shadows because it works just fine with this digital background, which is making my life a lot easier. So when you're roughly happy um, with the cutout, the selection there, oops, make my brush a little big. You can go on to step two of the actions, which is add the extra baby blending. Click add the main baby blending layers. This will play out and it's going to add seven additional layers for you to play with. Let me just pull this out a little bit here. So you will notice clipped on top of your baby, you have the shadows over the baby, darken baby, lift and lighten, add contrast and warm. Underneath the baby, so that this will affect the digital, you have gentle shadows and heavy shadows. Gentle Shadows is already selected. I'm going to take the flow down a little bit and add some gentle shadowing in here. Perhaps some heavier shadowing down the bottom. So this is now adapting the digital to suit uh, the baby image. I'm going to click on the shadows above baby and I'm going to add some of these now to darken baby down a little bit around the edges and add some of the shadowing above baby. At any point you can click back on your baby layer and you can refine uh, the selection even more because this is completely non-destructive, meaning you can carry on um, 
back and forth editing as much as you need to. The baby is also a smart object so at any point you can double click the baby layer and continue editing, hit save and close and this will bounce back to your digital. So it's all extremely flexible. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast over the baby, perhaps warm baby up a little. You can paint these on or off, change the opacity as needed. When you're happy with adding the shadows um, and the initial baby blending layers, you can click the next step, which is blend the colours. This will set up even more layers. Um, clip to your baby layer. You have blend tones, colour change, vibrant tones and saturation down. The blend tones uh, layer will take the initial tones in your digital and it will create a separate layer that you can use to paint on and colour match um, slightly uh, more to match the digital. If, for example, this baby is on this grey blanket, I'm just coming round and you can see it's lightly changed the grey to match more with the digital background. You have a colour change action here. This one is super cool. You can use this to change any colours on your baby, for example, their outfit perhaps or their hat. And I'm just going to use this to lightly go over this wrap here. You see it's coming out purple, but that's okay because I can change that in a minute and I'll show you how. It's coming out purple so I can see where I'm painting. You need to make sure none of this is going on the skin. So grab a black brush and paint off the skin. And once you have painted this in, just a little bit there, you can come over here to the colour change, double click on the, um, the adjustment layer icon, which will bring up your hue and saturation box. And you can simply slide this and change it to suit the digital. You can have any colour you want. So I'm just going to go down for a brownie kind of grey, desaturate it a bit just so it suits the digital background a little more. So we have a before and after. And you can go back and change this, refine it if you need to. You can also change the opacity if you want. So next up, you have the optional white or very dark digital background layers here. You have, um, these are for if your digital background is very white, perhaps the under layer is very white, um, or very dark. So for example, just to show you, I'm gonna play the blending uh, blacks and darks. For example, here we have darks, lift the shadows, so I can use this to lift those shadows up a tiny bit if I want to. Uh, we have some 3D contrast we can add in. Darken the edges. So you can see here, this is darkening the edges of your baby. This is all only affecting the baby layer. You can come down here now to edit the digital background. If you're happy with the way everything looks, that's fine. You don't need to, you can go ahead and save. If you want to, you can edit the background further. If you do have permission, um, you do have this permission with LSP, you'll have to check your license terms with other digitals. So I'm gonna click the background edit dark digitals here, and you can see these actions are playing out underneath the baby layer, so they will only affect the background. I'm gonna go ahead and close this group, your baby, just to neaten things up a bit. So there's baby before and after. You can open this at any point and continue editing. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So we have the edit, edit the background layers here. They are all invisible. You can simply turn these on or off depending. I may turn that cool on just a little bit and add that blue tone because I think that's really nice. Add a little vignette. Again, you can paint these on or off um, certain areas if you want to. So I'm just going to paint that off here. Um, contrast. And again, you have color change for the background. So if there's any areas of the background you wanted to color change, for example, here, or maybe the whole background or certain elements, you can do that in exactly the same way. See, that's come out green. Double click and slide the hue. Can you see? But for this one, I'm gonna leave that. And then we have the finishing layers here. These affect the whole image. So if you wanted to add an overlay, we have a creamy matte, black and white, dark and grungy, you can darken all over, film grain, light and airy, light and all over, and portrait contrast finisher. And you can change the, um, the opacity of these two. So that's a, uh, here, a before, using the LSP Love Bowl, the different um, bowl background options there and using the LSP Newborn Digital um, Photoshop actions to apply baby in 10 minutes. So we have before and after. 
and that is a nice realistic blend. See here. And you can come in and edit further if you want to. And again, you can double click um, your baby layer and edit baby on a separate as a separate image and save back. And it will save all your changes back to the digital. Because baby is a smart object, it's non-destructive. Everything is in layers. It keeps everything open for you. And then you can go ahead and save for your clients. These are available at www.lsp-actions.com. Thanks for watching.